Welcome to Facts for Real Videos. The world was enthralled by the daring hunt for the Titan deep water submarine. But in the midst of this common interest, a terrifying query emerges, what precisely occurs to a human body when a submarine implodes? Take a five-year-old for example, and ask her to poke an air balloon. It disappears in an instant. Under the sea, the same phenomenon occurs in reverse much more quickly. Simply put, it is unlikely that any remains will be discovered, yet the eerie details surrounding this dismal reality are enough to disturb your sleep. Since the recent revelation by the US Coast Guard regarding the tragic Titan submarine, the phrase, catastrophic implosion, has attracted even more attention. The debris was found by officials involved in the rescue attempts, highlighting the seriousness of the situation. Imagine an implosion as the reverse of an explosion, where intense forces pushing in all directions cause an object to collapse, much like a crushed soda can. Unexpectedly, even the slightest nick or dent on a submarine's exterior might expose a weak area to the intense pressure of the water surrounding it. Given how quickly the implosion occurs, any warnings would be useless. We must concentrate on a key element, pressure, in order to see how that is feasible. When something goes underwater, whether it is a human, a fish, or submersible machinery, water pressures against it from all sides, exerting equal pressure. This pressure, which is comparable to the weight of Earth's atmosphere at sea level, is identical to what we experience on land at the ocean's surface. For measurement reasons, this is referred to as one atmosphere. The atmospheric pressure drops as we rise in elevation because there is less air pressing down from above. However, pressure rises as we go further underwater. With hydro denoting water and static denoting stillness, this pressure at sea is known as hydrostatic pressure. The force increases as more water is present above. Water however exerts pressure from all directions, including below, in addition to the previously indicated downward pressure. This upward force, which enables us to float in water, is known as buoyancy. Just 10 meters, or 33 feet, below the surface, the pressure doubles. In actuality, pressure rises by one atmosphere for every 10 meters. Using recent events as an example, the Titanic is under a pressure that is staggeringly higher than that at the surface because it is about 12,500 feet, 3,800 meters, below the surface. This pressure is equivalent to about 380 atmospheres, or a crushing 6,500 pounds of pressure per square inch. Particularly when subjected to abrupt and significant changes, the human body is not designed to resist such intense stresses. Our bodies can withstand approximately 50 pounds per square inch, just to give you an idea. However, a person would suffer forces 130 times above their tolerance at this indicated depth. The outcome is simultaneous immediate and catastrophic harm to the body's numerous systems. We grow more prone to having our lungs and air-filled cavities in the skull collapse, rapidly crushing the body. Instantaneously, the air in the lungs is shrunk to the size of an earphone casing. Because of this, deep ocean organisms lack internal air pockets. In essence, your body's tissues and systems, including respiratory, circulatory, and nervous, would be completely crushed, instantly shattering into fragments. Although the result is undoubtedly terrible, there is a shred of wisdom. Former US nuclear submarine operator Dave Corley claims that when a submarine's hull collapses, it moves internally at an incredible speed of almost 1,500 miles per hour, or 2,414 kilometers per hour. This translates to 671 meters per second, or 2,200 feet per second. As a result, in just one millisecond, or thousandth of a second, the entire system collapses. Human brains react instinctively to stimuli in about 25 milliseconds, although it normally takes 150 milliseconds for a brain to go from sensing to acting. That is between 25 to 150 times slower than the implosion's speed. Therefore, it is impossible for the poor Titan passengers to have understood what was happening, too swiftly for the brain to process or even send pain signals, it happened. There is also another significant factor to take into account. It is possible for there to be a buildup of hydrocarbon vapors inside a submarine. After the first quick implosion, spontaneous igniting of the air that occurs when the hull collapses causes an explosion. Temperatures can rise sharply. 
All of the broken pieces are instantly engulfed by the explosion, possibly turning them into ashes and dust. Unfortunately, this degraded material mixes with water and becomes a component of marine life. Because of this, according to professionals and academics who are familiar with the effects of catastrophic explosions, recovering the remnants of a human corpse becomes an impossible task. If you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button to become a member of our community. By signing up, you'll support our efforts to produce and distribute even more inspiring tales that will make our days better and broaden our perspectives. Your small deed can have a significant impact on our mission. I appreciate your participation in this trip. Sign up right away. We also encourage you to view one of our other videos in which we present another intriguing tale in the facts for real videos manner, one discovery at a time.